Okay, I'm going to be reading something that a lot of you don't read when you bring up these memes. I'm going to read the assertions, but let's start with the reality. 1996, June 17th, the Air Force commissioned a project or a activity called Air Force 2025. Volume 3, Chapter 15, Owning the Weather as a Force Multiplier. Seven DOD officers, or just seven officers, brainstorming. Department of Defense School Environment of Academic Freedom research paper written by People Colonel Tamsey J. House, Lieutenant Colonel James B. Neer, Jr., LTC. William B. Shields, Major Ronald J. Salentro, Salentau, Major David M. Husband, Major Ann E. Mercer, Major James E. Pogue. Those are the people who wrote this. It's, oh, no, it's a secret covenant. No, they signed their names to it. So, number one, crossed off the list of the Gish Gallup. It's a secret organization. No, it's seven individuals with their names written at the top of the page. And it's again, volume 13, volume 13, chapter, volume 3, chapter 15 of a project called Air Force 2025. A fictional representation guessing future situations and scenarios examining concept capabilities and technologies of the United States will require to remain dominant in air, space, etc. in the future. Citing this work is the equivalent to citing one of the episodes of Star Trek. It's a group of people being futurists. Futurists are notoriously comically wrong. I mean literally moo ha ha ha. Let's dream big. Okay? It assumed the following. Current technologies in 1996 will mature till 2016 or 2017 or 2026, excuse me, and will offer anyone who has the necessary resources to build to the ability to modify weather patterns and their corresponding effects. Right, and we'll also have flying cars. And free energy. Now, if you want to believe these things for some blasted reason, that's great. I'd like to have free energy. I'd like to have flying cars. I would sit down underneath something pretty solid and watch you all run into each other, because most of you can't cross the street without almost hitting me on my bike, because you say you can't see me. Let's do three-dimensional chest. I'll sit on the sidelines and sip my uh, my uh, milkshake and eat popcorn. Anyway, at least on a local scale, even in their first page, they said, maybe on a local scale. No. By 2025, our national security strategy will include weather modification. Why? Military strategy, strategy use, strategical use will naturally follow. Why? It's a force of nature to deter or counter potential adversaries. Ah, the 1990s. Military. Totally not paranoid schizophrenic psychos. The most powerful weapon we've seen is something they didn't really understand would happen, but Bill Gates, you know, assumed would happen, and we were just barely getting into it. The internet. Control of information. No, you will not. The internet was based on never controlling information, although the European Union rules may change that. It's not a slippery slope. It's a poop shoot. Now, we're talking about something more basic here. Propaganda is the most powerful force in starting and ending wars. It is not weather modification. And in case you haven't noticed it, you can't say that the military can modify weather, but say that humans are incapable of causing global warming. You can't have those be in the same universe unless you're literally telling people, Hi, I'm insane. That's the end of it. 
If you're claiming that, well, it, it takes some super secret group of people. No, it's seven people I just named. Oh, well, it's an unknown organization. It was the Air Force. Well, we don't know exactly what happened. It was apparently at noon when this was done, but it was uh, 1996, June 17th, and it's Volume 3, Chapter 15 of a bunch of other stuff. If you type in the URL below, which ends in, uh, this is the actual website where the file was. S, I mean Q, csat.au, Australia, dot af, dot mil, I'm suspicious, slash 2025, slash volume 3, and then volume 3, chapter 15. You can type in chapter 14 and look up the other PDFs. Somebody might have archived them. Why only archive this one part? Because it's talking about weather modification and people are insane. So let's listen to John X Army Patriots who posted underneath my video about the subject of John X Army quoting somebody who didn't do their math. And I mean literally didn't do their math. I disproved a, a PhD <coughs> who's out of her element. I'm out of my element too, but I look at other people's work and find out, no, you're just wrong. So let's go with this. <coughs> Dude, they're totally in control of the weather. Look up Owning the Weather by 2025 NASA document. The reason you said NASA was because saying Air Force means, oh, a bunch of dum-dums who fly airplanes. People who are patriot movement people and other kinds of movement, <coughs> let's get guttural here, don't talk about the Air Force. They talk about NASA. Well, we can extrapolate this. No, it actually has definitively a set of people's names. You can go look them up. You can talk to them. You can ask them what they were talking about. Um, you can read it and laugh. Everyone needs to read this and laugh. Uh, most of the copies are identical. And the most of them are from this file that was dumped. Uh, it looks like it was dumped 2006 or earlier. <coughs> I'll look at it and see if I can give you metadata. They admit it all the time. People just don't listen. They do not state that they have the ability to alter the weather, nor do they show signs of being able to do it. And everyone who claims that weather modification is happening complains about it making the rainbows go away and making annoying clouds above their house. No, the military makes up a bunch of stuff to actually screw with people in, in Vietnam during the Vietnam War to literally extend the monsoon seasons. That's totally not real. But somehow, it has to be weather modification if they made it rain when you wanted to go play golf. This sounds like a strangely egocentric personal problem to me. So yeah, they can do a lot of things to the climate. Yeah, but you won't acknowledge that human beings as a gigantic force, billions and billions of us, could accidentally screw up the environment. No, it has to be delivered by the U.S. government because that doesn't sound like you being an apologist for the people on the planet ruining our environment, polluting the air, water, sea, earth, your mom, and our vital bodily fluids. <coughs> no, it has to be chemtrails, and it has to be fluoride, and it has to be vaccinations instead of us humans literally getting lead in our pool toys, pumping crap into the air through almost every coal fire plant and car exhaust. No, it has to be chemtrails. It's not the lead in the gasoline vapors in the 1970s that made people stupid. No, they were totally brilliant back then. They use a... Hegelian dielectric problem reaction solution. They cause the problem spraying the skies using harp to manipulate the atmosphere. They use the react to panic, Bill Nye, etc. They sell us a solution, so which is to spray the skies more by blocking out the sun ice age. Ta-da! It's really not that hard to figure out. You stop ignoring things you don't want to believe is happening. Or you can actually read the article, the, the page, and look it up correctly. Where did the internet touch you? Point, point, point to it on the PDF file. Someone lied to you and said it was a NASA document. Someone lied to you about whether or not it was some secret organization or some big cabal. It was seven people brainstorming about how we were eventually going to have flying cars too, I'm sure. And maybe robot lovers. Just look up Stratosphere Aerosol Injection Program. I did. It's another pie in the sky idea that won't work. 
half of this crap you guys are quoting are research papers by by people who are trying to get a degree. The other half are by people who are honestly posting stuff to troll you and thereby control you. Could you possibly be any more condescending in your presentation? No, I can't. I've tried. It's medically impossible for me to look further down my nose at people who won't look up things. It's remarkable, especially for someone who knows so little about the truth in the big picture. The big picture is propaganda, and you're soaking in it. Don't believe everything you've been taught. Don't believe everything you've been untaught, either. You don't want to believe in reality. That's fine. It's raining in Portland, Oregon. This isn't chemtrails. It's just raining. This is relatively normal weather for December. We even had a little bit of almost ice storm. It, it faded away rapidly. <coughs> and then of course, no, it's the sun, dumbass. No, the sun's variation intensity across the entire spectrum total energy output hitting the earth changes by one part in 1,300. It is not causing weather manipulation a a a stuff that you're talking about. If it was, you could find a correlation, and there isn't one. Nor is it causing a uh, global dimming, or the sun is going to die off in 20 years, nor is it anything even partially like uh, a, clumming, a coming uh, ice age or, or uh, Mondor Minimum or, you know, in our skies. None of that's happening. You guys literally create a special universe where only the military or God can modify weather, but you say that only, but humans can't, can't possibly modify weather, and then you bring up this crap. This idea of holding two completely self-contradicting ideas, mutually exclusive ideas as being both factual without special consideration, is a sign that you're trying desperately to hide from something called reality. Now I'm aware of the fact that you can modify weather a little bit in local areas, yes. And that the military has actually exploited this, yes, they have, by cloud seeding. And if you want to say HARP was an experiment to do something like this, they shut it down because it doesn't do what they think it did. Or they did all the experiments and found out data. A good experiment, doesn't matter if it gives you what you want, gives you something back. You can decide that that's all a lie and it's all a smoke screen. That's fine. But the point is, is that it is in the military's best interest that you are spinning your wheels on whatever you're finding on the net. It is not in their best interest you know what they're really up to. And what they're really up to is finding out that the most powerful thing on earth to manipulate isn't the weather, it's you. And every other military figured that out. Go look at RT and how much it agrees with uh, Fox News and realize that it used to be against federal law for any news agency based out of the United States to repost propaganda from foreign countries, regardless of reasoning or even accuracy, because it's still propaganda. And it's actually overtly illegal due to firing squads still under some rules that haven't been erased to do it to private citizens if they participate in spreading lies. Anything demonstratively untrue that benefits another country against the United States. Don't forget that. Hey, but welcome to the internet. You're all entitled to your opinion, and it doesn't ever disappear.